here we go. Special edition of Knicks Post Game Live. CP from the Knicks Fan TV. My man Jay Ellis from the Nick of Time Show. Yep. Special edition show tonight, Jay Ellis. We got a special guest in the building. Sure do. He needs no introductions. But he's one of our OGs. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and there, there's, there's a lot of issues going on right now. We got a lot of questions. And we need answers. So, right. so let's, let's bring him in. <laughs> Charles Oakley, welcome to the show. Yeah. How you doing today, Oak? How you doing today, What's up, man? guys? How y'all doing? I'm good. How y'all doing? You're doing all right, man. So yeah, once again, thanks for joining the show and giving us some time. And uh, the fans are very much looking forward to this episode. So thanks again. Yeah. So so let's get right into it, man. A couple weeks ago, we, we had the Spike Lee situation happening at the Garden. And, um, you know, your situation was shocking. But never in a million years did I think uh, uh, Spike and the Knicks would, would have a falling out as well. When you saw this, you know, drawing back to your situation that happened three years ago, when you saw this, what what was your immediate reaction? Um, it's like a song. You keep is it all the way over. Um, it keep continuing to happen, and songs you keep you listen to the radio every four hours. We hear it again. Uh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, the fans have to go through this. Um, it's just crazy that uh, someone. Especially when they said this day and time, things should be happening like this. But I mean, go back to the old days. <clears throat> go back to the old days. Stuff just keeps happening. I feel sorry for the fans who um, can't protect themselves and you know can't sit down and watch a game. And I mean, you you can boo someone, but you can't say other words. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yo, so question to you, Oak. Um. Do you feel like Spike is being like unfairly targeted because he backs you so heavy? Like I, I know he's kind of said that on first take that he feels like Dolan is after him. And uh, I don't know he's been targeted, but my incident was three years ago. I mean, if you going I just it just it's just uncalled for just to have the Spike, a guy who's been loyal to this franchise for twenty eight years, spent over ten million of dollars to see this franchise. And this, and you know, paying money and uh, really up and down, staying, staying with it, staying positive, hoping they can turn it around. And you know, it's just unfortunate things keep happening. You know, when you throw a kid out, thirteen year old, and call their parents, you know, because the kid says sell the team. Um, it's a lot of blame should be running the league to other owners and people who are in charge. You know, I wouldn't want to have a partner like this because at the end of the day, it's gonna end up hurting the whole league. In some kind of shape, form, or fashion. Now, now I got to ask you this one, Oak. When when you went on, I believe it was Golik and Wingo. You said that um, you know Dolan was running the organization like a plantation. Uh, some of the New York media took that as you saying you know Dolan was a racist and so on and so forth. Can you clarify what you meant about the the plantation? I mean, what, what what did you really mean by that? I mean, what I say. I mean, what you think? I mean. What do you think been run? I mean, someone keep throwing people out, kids, grown ups, such and such people who played there, no respect for no one. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I'm, can I ask you that question? You asked me a question. I mean, what are you, you are you refer? What I'm asking you is, are you referring to how he's running the organization, or well, are you specifically here. talking about I how mean, he's treating I don't the know. black employees specifically? You know, when you say plantation, people think of you know slavery connotations, thing like that. So if they think that way, that's the answer. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know Dolan personally. What I, I mean, see, James you don't have Dolan. To know him. How, well, do, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you know how plantation run? Not, I, have, I wasn't there in those days, but from the books, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not ran well, of course. You know oh, what okay, I mean? well, okay. There but, we go. but from what I see, I see your former teammates with jobs there. You see Charles Smith, uh, Starks is there, Spreewell is there, Larry Johnson. I mean, they've been there for years. I, I don't know how they feel about the situation. You know, I, I, see, know. I see I prominent don't... executives in the front office. Um, uh, well, I mean, as well. well, he, he just started putting a lot of people in, 
in front of us. And I mean, he had some black coaches. I ain't gonna say he had yeah. any Wilkins. Isaiah, uh, Levy, look how long he stayed loyal to Isaiah. Oh, I look how long he stayed loyal to I Mills. Care. I don't care about Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah's a snake. So <laughs> whatever. All right. All right. We move on from Isaiah, yeah. man. So, so you know, you were looking for an intervention from the commissioner's yeah. office. You wanted Adam Silver uh, to intervene and do something about it. But to me, how? what do you really want the league to do? Uh, you know, this, I don't this want the league to be a, be, a, be a professional and, and, and the fans who come to the game looking over the years in New York and what's going on. I mean, the fans, they deserve better. I, I mean, my thing with the commissioner, if he, it's okay to, for someone to keep throwing someone out and drag drag someone out, question somebody about a ticket, throw a kid out, and then you're going to find uh, Mark Cuban $500,000 for criticizing the official, official about a, you know, a game. Which one is most important? Of uh, officially getting Mark Cuban um, half a big, you know, half a million dollars about official criticizing officials, or someone getting drug out, someone a kid getting thrown out. Which one you think is important? Yeah. So, so, so maybe, maybe maybe intervention is in order. You know, maybe huh? maybe you want Adam Silver to to, to have a sit down. No, I'm just asking you a question. Which one you think is important? No, of course. I mean, from oh, the fans, of course. Yeah, from the fans. The fans. How, how the fans? I mean, if you're sure. gonna be able to ask me questions, I should be able to ask you questions. Yeah, not a problem. I mean, not a problem. Okay. We, we don't, 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 be, don't be scared to talk. You want to talk to me? Oh, no. We're not. Listen, we, no. That, that's definitely not I, the I can't tell y'all like y'all got some masks on the month or some of y'all. I don't know. Go ahead. I'm listening. Nah. I would say. Okay. Obviously, how the fan is being treated is more important. Right, this man okay, is running, right. this man That's is all I want to hear. I just want to make sure I'm on the right page. I don't want to be on the, all, off the side of the road and, and I don't make sense. Okay, well, you say the same thing I say. We understand. I mean, we have to, always have the same answers for every questions, but I'm just saying I want to make sure I'm on the same road you on. Okay. Nah, we, look, look, we on we on the same page, man. We on the same. We don't page. have to agree, but I want to see how you feel. I mean, I just get, I'm just trying to see what I, the temperature is. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep it above with you. I'll keep it above with you, Oak. As as the owner of the team who runs a private enterprise, if that was me, he has the right to do what he wants. Now he has to deal with the blowback. But and if, he got a right to do what he wants. If, if that was me wow. and, a, and a fan and a fan comes up to me and and. Is antagonizing me? Yeah, I might throw him out too. But, but ain't no fan coming up to him. This a pub. I mean, a place that it's you got twenty thousand people sitting inside the team, and you gonna throw a kid out? Come on. Yeah, I, that's petty. That's petty. Come on, I mean, talk to me. <laughs> yeah, jails. No, I mean, I, I kind of differ. No, nah, go ahead. No, nah, no. What's nah, the next stop. question? What's the next question? Come on. Let's <laughs> talk. Let's talk. Let's go to the All next right. question. All right, cool. Next question. Yeah, let's, the let, let's go to the next one. Steve Stout. You and Steve Stout are friends, right? Uh, I know Steve, and we've been, we've been, you know, since 88, 88, 88, 89. Yeah, long time. Okay. He's been tabbed as the brand consultant for the right. Knicks. Has, have you talked to him about the situation? Has he tried to... Uh, be a mediator between you and James Doan. We talk. I talked to Steve when this first happened with me, Steve, the commission Dolan one time. I talked to Steve several times since then. Um, and what happened? I mean, what happened as a result? What, what happened? What, what, what's supposed to happen? Well, what, Steve I, got a job. Steve got a job with the Knicks. I don't work for the Knicks. But from Steve's standpoint, from what he's, this is what he said. He wants to bring the fans. He wants to repair the relationship with the fans. He wants okay. to separate the brand from Dolan. He wants to bring guys like you back into the fold. That's that's what Steve said. Well, that's, so that's I'm, what he I'm, said. I'm, I'm so asking have you. It, have it happen? So, but but what does it? What is it going to take to happen? What needs to happen to for uh, Charles Oakley to be back at MSG? Yeah. What, what are you looking it's gonna for? It's going to take about about seven different things. Probably, you got first of all. You gotta apologize to myself, my family, the fans, uh, the NBA. Uh, you know, do it's gonna take a lot of things. I mean, it just ain't because I know Steve. Steve just can't bring me back. I mean, Steve don't move me. Well, I'm I'm not saying that he's moving you, but as the yeah. as the middleman 
Can he bring? Can anybody bring you and Dolan to the table tomorrow? Dolan, Dolan don't want to come to the table. I okay. tried at at the beginning of the year. We tried to you know get something you know with them. They told us no. So it ain't about just getting to the table. This this man is it's a. Hey, I don't know. I don't think he will. He told someone else he scared of me. Man, never never, never met me. How you scared of me? Hmm. So, so I, I tried to shake. I tried to shake his hand in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Swear my mother, World Wide West came and got me. LeBron James, everybody was in in uh, New Orleans. I came up to him. He was at the table sitting there. I tried. I put my hand out in West. You know, Miss Dolan. This is Mr. Oakley. I tried to shake. I put my hand out. He wouldn't even turn around and address me. Mm. I mean, he don't. He didn't have to, but I just wow. wow. I thought it was you know West bringing me over. You know, he cool with Wild Wild West and. You know, so uh, it was it was funny to me. I'm like, wow, man, this is never met the man. He gonna say I met him, but my thing, if, if you have met me, and I come over and say hello, how you doing? Put my hand out. You can turn around and shake my hand. He wouldn't even do that. Hmm. Go ahead, Jay. What's your question, man? Uh huh. No, I was I was trying to figure out the timeline of, of when that happened. That's that's really. It what don't. I mean, it don't matter. But it happened though. But he keep telling people, you know, all this and that about me. I mean, I. I I can sit in a room with him. I don't, can he sit in a room with me by himself? Okay. There, 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 there were there was going on about. I heard people say like the Knicks were trying to work things out around for about a year right now to kind of pass things up with you. Was that? They ain't even trying to work nothing out. They, they said you were you. welcome back in the building, Charles. They said you were welcome. Why back would I ban? Well, you got to ask him that. I, I don't right. Know I ain't gonna ask him that. You asking me the question. You gotta ask him. <laughs> you don't, I, I, you I, don't have I, access to them. We have access to you. That's why we're asking you. Oh. Okay, right. I mean, I have no. I have. No, uh, I mean, I, most time when you ban, you you, you know, it's tough to go back to someone. Somebody ban you for no reason. Mm. All right. All right. Okay. Move. Move. Moving on. To me, Oak. Listen, there, there, there's a part of the fan base that they're riding with you, no matter what. You know, no matter what, I mean, don't matter who, tell, I, I got something to say to the fans. So, what do you want to say I mean, to the fans? I, because, can, because, can, look, can, there, can, some, can, can I get two minutes? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Say, say what you, you know want to say I, I love New York. I love the fans. Yeah. If I was wrong, if did anything wrong, I would fast to the fans when they first had my back three years ago. And I love the fans. I would never put them through this, oh, uh, it's all right, all right, wrong. If I was wrong, I would have turned my hand up and had a press conference and said, you know what, fans, the NBA, my family, I'm, I'm sorry I let you down. No, I'm not wrong. We got the tape. The evidence is on the tape. The first thing they said was they got a tape on me. And we got the same tape they sent to the courthouse. And it will be out soon. Hopefully, that when they see this tape, all this and that, that I, all I did was came in the arena and sit down in my seat and eight and minutes he, later. And he turned around and, 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 and the goons came after you. Right? Yes. I, I don't, I don't we listen, didn't, oh the judge didn't even lie. The judge didn't lie to evidence in 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 the decision. How can you not let the the tape that they said I was acting up in in the decision? He talking about a landlord. He got the right to do whatever he want when he want. That's it's unprofessional to anybody in any kind of business because you should you have to respect someone who come inside wherever you, you know your office, the arena. I mean, your school or whatever. You got to respect people. I'm, I'm going to say this, though. Like I said, there, there's a fraction of the fan base that they're riding with you. No well, okay, it's okay. No doubt. It's all right, though. No everybody doubt. always, you know, like when you vote for the president, what, what, everybody what I'm, always what I'm vote. Saying is, what I'm saying is, you, you came out with a post on, on IG the other day saying you do it for the fans. Okay, cool. What I'm right. saying is when, when you and Spike go on these, these media tours... I don't see how that's helping the matters. You and Spike said okay, that this well, could, this could it, impact. It, well, it could you're impact not a fan. Agency. You said a fan. You're not oh, a I'm, fan. No, I'm okay. definitely a fan, but I'm also a fan okay, of the brand. Okay, but they have help. It's just, it's just life. How anything happens. I, I'm also I mean, a fan of the brand. I'm a fan of yours, of course. What I, I thought what happened with you was a, was atrocious. It was embarrassing. Okay. I understand. We, we haven't been on a meeting tour. You. Oh, you you was on Jalen. I like Jalen Rose. Okay. Jalen and Jalen Rose. I, I, I do the same thing I do now. I've like, been doing all my life. I, I, ain't nothing, I ain't nothing special. E, I the ESPN too. Like I'm talking to you. I do what I do. I, I'm just, I'm just you saying. Ask, you request that you ask request an interview. Yeah. I'm giving it to you. So what is that a tool? I'm not on a tool. 
not you wanted to talk, right? Right. But what I'm right, saying okay. is, if you guys say this is not going to help, you know, these situations not going to help. Then I'm not doing. I mean, he wanted to talk. I don't do something for the case. The case is the case. The judge dropped the ball. Okay, point blank. I hear that. I'm not arguing with you about the case. I don't, I, I, I don't why, why, you what are you arguing for? We talking. Right, we talking, of course. All I'm right, saying well, why is... Why are you arguing, though? That's, 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 that's a weak thing to say. <laughs> We're not arguing, man. All well, I'm don't saying say, is... Don't say that to me, because arguing, I mean, that I means that ain't good things around me. I got you. I don't, I don't it, like it, it's, it's nothing but love, Oak. Trust me. Trust no, me. But don't, don't talk to me like that, okay? Tr- tr- oh, we got it, oh, We got it. Okay. Go ahead. JLs, you want you want to get a word in? Go ahead, bro. Nah, I mean, I, I, yo, I think Oak has the wrong idea, man. Listen. I don't, okay, how do I have the wrong idea? Nah, nah, this is, yo, look, Oak, this is all about love. We talking to you through the fans. Nah, well, well, I mean, we, we right? cool. I'm cool with this conversation. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just making it. It's going to have to be love. It's, it's an interview. If you want yeah, to have love with me, I'll still talk oh, to we, you. We just keeping it a buck, Oak. We, 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 not, buck, we not trying to exacerbate yeah. the situation, Oak. We here right, to try we, to we find just, a oh, middle ground, right? Oak? Because we, 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 we as the fans, we want you back at MSG. Okay, we we well, want you back at fans, MSG to get you the fans. Why are the fans still going to the game? They're going to be back. I mean, part of the reason, I'll, I'll keep it a buck with you, Oak. Part of the reason why the fans are still loyal to this team is you. Part of the reason yeah. is those 90s Nick teams. Yeah, it's the all legacy. Right? Nah. The emotion. Ain't, no, ain't everything nobody on the line Nick team around there. Mason passed. Well, what I'm Patrick, saying. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick couldn't get oh, a job, but he's scared to talk up. Oh, oh, uh, John, and, and there, let's get to who that. else? Let's, let's get to that. Yo, yo, Oak, our first times watching these games, we was. 10, 11 years old, we was watching you when we was watching Oak. We was watching you. Cool. Right. Right. But, but Oak, that's you got cool. you to understand right that's, we, that's we part of, of the that. loyalty yeah. to the team because we want yeah. those days back. We want to be proud well, of this team again. Exactly. Hey, yeah. my thing is, my thing is, right, right with Dolan, it, my thing is, I don't have another person against him. But I know what's going on with the Knicks, it ain't just him. It's just, it's not a lot of talent no more. I mean, he yeah he might have did some things wrong, but and that's I mean we all did things wrong like but when you just do some over the top like what he did to me, I mean that's just crazy. I mean, I mean you know just someone fit eight guys into one guy who played it for ten years. Then this is what this is what the respect from him. So say that was you, you eating popcorn, da da da, drinking a beer, and you holler out, Mister Free Throw. And next thing you know, eight guys come up to you and throw you out. When you feel in, like really disrespected, like really, of course, Absolutely. I ain't even say that. Absolutely. I'm talking to fans. Absolutely, yo. I, actually, I kind of I differ from CP where I feel like if I'm a business owner and I have fans there, hey, fans pay their money. They can say stuff. They can heckle because that's what they did for. As long as they're paying their money, I'm good because I'm a corporation. I want to treat my fans right. That's how I kind of roll. So I get what you're saying. I get, I definitely get what she's saying in that regard. But now it's kind of evolved into something else where it's like, man, it's like we want that unity back and we don't know what it takes. And that's why you're, that's why you're here today because that's why well, we got it the questions. To get some good guys on the court to basketball and change. So you ain't going to get all the money back. I know you might, you just want something that look like it, but the, the game is transferring a whole, a whole totally different atmosphere. And now it's about you got to build a team. You got to have some guys, some I know some leadership. You got to have some guys who are willing to sacrifice night in night out. Know they know they roll. Know they trust. Know what they can do for us. Who on the team? Know what the other teammates can do. It's it's a lot of work for us, like younger kids that don't think about they, these kids don't think about basketball. All they do is get their check and go play uh, video games and. Social media, they don't. It's, it's, but my thing, I blame, I blame some of the people who run the team, not just the owner. I blame the GM, the coaches, because they don't, they don't stay engaged with guys, and when they do stuff wrong, they don't tell them no more. What, so, what, you, what you, how do you, how well do you know Leon Rose? What's your impressions of Leon Rose? Leon Rose, they ain't got nothing to do with on the basketball court. I'm telling, we talking about on the basketball the, he, court. But he's gonna pick the plays though. He's gonna be part well, of that team that picked the plays. But my thing is, you can you can get you can get Tyler, you can get this player, that player. If you don't have good chemistry, I mean, another thing, you got all the big guys shooting threes and this and that. That ain't really basketball. Basketball start inside out. A good fundamental. A good good. You gotta have a good leader. It's hard to build a team now. A lot. Of, 
it ain't just the Knicks going through it. A lot of teams going through this. I, mean, I know New York should be better because they pay a lot of money, but paying money to guys, you can pay a guy thirty million dollars to average ten points. He ain't gonna prove your team. Mm. It's it's a tough situation. They in a they in a tough situation. I know the fans want to win now, but it's gonna take some years. Of course, it's yeah. it's a long road. It's we in it for the long haul. No, it's doubt a long. About it. I mean, it's like from driving from New York to Texas. It's a long road. Did did back in free agency? <laughs> yeah, man, free agency. Did you uh, and K, well, did you we, and we, we, we ever see last speak summer about, about free agency? Did, did you, you and KD ever ever speak about the Knicks and, and your situation here? I spoke to a lot of young guys in the league. Did did you did you dissuade them? I was never. In? It's just like it's just like when LeBron was a free agent. I know all of these guys. These guys respect me. I respect. I'm glad they respect me. I'm glad they show me love. Being a guy who played a long time ago. And, you know, I've been consistent over my years. That's probably why they respect me. When you up and down like a yo-yo, when people doing this and doing that, they're not going to respect These young guys are not going to respect you. I'm consistent. A lot of these guys is, you know, they like uh, basketball or something. You know, you put air in it and it, and it, and it sneak out. Then the air, you got to put it back in. It's a lot of the, the, young, the younger guys don't respect these guys who... Da, 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 talk a lot, you know, like Charles Barkley, you know, they get into it with him and, you know, he tried to say a lot about the younger guy, but Charles Barkley wasn't a, he was just a good player, but he wasn't a leader, he wasn't a guy who put effort, guys hated playing with him, so they not, they like going to respect him, and a lot of guys like that, who talk on TV, they don't respect. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm glad, I'm, you know, I ain't had no problem with none of the younger guys, so yeah. that's a blessing. Did, but, but, you know, did any of the free about agents it. ask you about the me. Knicks? Did, did any of the free agents ask you about the Knicks? Uh, no. I mean, I talk. I've been around them, and they was, you know, I've been, I've been around the agents, yeah. you know. So they talked about stuff, but I mean, you know, they had said it. You know, they said it blank. It's a toxic situation. They don't want to be involved with. It. They don't want all them problems. It's, it's, it's. A, when you got a control freak, and people know it's a control, it's gonna be hard. But these guys that want to come to New York now. I know Leon Rose might can come in and do this and that, but it's gonna take time. One of one of the coaching picks that that we've been hearing linked um, to this new regime is, is possibly Thibodeau or possibly Van Gundy. Uh, what what would you say to that in, in terms of? I don't um, I don't know I don't know. Guys? What do you think about? I don't that? I can't say because I'm not making a decision. I don't you know wish all of them the best of luck. I'm I'm surprised Jeff want to come back and coach New York. Um, I mean, I don't know. I th- I don't know. I mean, I don't think these guys not type of Jeff type of coach for Jeff. If if I know Jeff correct when I played with him, what he meant as a coach and how he coached, I think it'd be tough for him to come back and coach young guys. You, you think he wouldn't have the patience for it? Hey, the patience is just. What he what he believe in for his offense and defense plus minus, it's not even resistant. In this day and age, it's totally different. You know, turnovers. You can miss you can have four or five turnovers in the first three or four minutes. You can have four or five miss free throws. I mean, when we play it was more I mean it was more you had to be on point. It, it couldn't be turnovers, could miss miss free free throws, bad shots. I mean, if you look at these teams I, I mean, they should. If they take seventy-five, eighty shots out of eighty shots. Thirty shots is bad shots. Yeah. So, it's. it's I mean, it's. Hey, it's like trying to put a cow like together with a Volkswagen pause. What about Mark Jackson? What do you, what do you think about Mark Jackson? Uh, potentially I don't know. I don't know. If Mark want to coach. I don't know. Mark since the situation with Golden State. Mark, I ain't heard Mark speak up or whatever. I mean, I know he got the capability of being a coach because he did the Golden State. He showed that he can. Deal with young guys. Why? So, why do you think he hasn't gotten a call since? I don't know. I don't know. You know. So I guess he loves what he's doing. So hey, he got a job, and hey, you know that's how it is. Yeah. How about Patrick Ewing? I don't know. I don't deal with Patrick. Patrick, I don't. Why, even not, why Patrick. not? Yeah. What What happened with that man? You You You, well, you said Patrick was, was soft. I mean that 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 was that was your man for I mean, almost ten years. If right? I said you already heard it, so why well, I gotta repeat myself? 
<laughs> because I, I don't understand where where that animosity. Well, you is might not never from. understand because you ain't you ain't been around. I, I, I wasn't there. I was not there on the team. I'm right. just a civilian. Well, I'm a Carl fan. Patrick asked me, you know why? I, I don't I don't I don't understand why why the animosity. Yeah. We, we, well, we, he's we, one we, of the different man. guys I would I would play with. I could you know, he just uh, he's not a he's not a. I mean, I played with him ten years. Ten years. So he should know me. I should know him. Something right. I played ten years with Patrick, and I mean, I mean it was hard ten years because he, he's 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 not easy to uh, play with, and he's high maintenance. Damn, that's tough, man. That, that's that's a captain, yeah. JLS. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Are you cool with any any uh, teammates from that era, the Knicks era? Uh, probably Mason, Chris Charles, Doc Rivers, Doug Harper. Rest, rest uh, in peace to me. I mean, I don't know a few of them. Chris, I mean, Chris Childs came to your defense. Chris yeah, Childs he, is on the show. I think Chris. I mean, Chris yeah. Childs a real guy. So yeah, Chris Childs came to your defense. I'm just, you know, a lot of guys. Game. I guess they they can't set nothing because they work at the garden. But I don't blame a lot of them guys. I mean, I blame Patrick more than them because I played ten years with Patrick. I only played four or five years with them guys. See the difference? Yeah. Mm. He should have my back. I had his back. I had his back when they offered him a D Lee job. I came out like, how can you offer a guy played in New York fifteen years a D Lee job? But did you hear him say something about me when something happened in the guard? I they asked him because they had to ask him. They asked anybody. They asked Reggie Miller, Brad Dorley, all the younger guys, and they spoke. You know, it just I don't. Yeah. You know, I hate to keep beating the horse. You know, me down, but uh, I just couldn't believe that. You know, he always talking about old oh, this, old oh, that. But when I needed him, he he never stepped up. He had five chances over my career to speak up, to speak up for me. He never have. Yeah. That's tough. How you think? I, how you think I feel? Sacrifice my game, diving, taking charges, doing all this, playing beside him to make him look better. And when I get to, you know, when I when I get on base, I ask him to bunt me over. He said no. Yeah, that, that's tough, man. Yeah, that's, that, tough. that's tough. Blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, you know? I'm jiving because I played yeah. with him. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand. Yeah. That. All right, uh, I, I definitely understand that, man. Well, listen, Oak. Like, like we said, man, we 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 wanted to see how we could bridge the the gap. Clearly, there's a divide I between can MSG. See it, yeah. Well, you got to call the, the guy who owned the team. <laughs> <laughs> and they, no, I'm just saying this. How, this is how we had a meet the guy who owned the team, yeah. Michael Jordan, and the commission in the room, and bring y'all to and me. We'll see what happens. All right, all right. So me, Jay Ellis, you, yeah. Adam Silver, MJ, <laughs> Steve Stout, in a room. Let's see what we could do. I'm with yep. that. But let, let's get it cracking. Maybe y'all can move the crowd like AB and Rakim. We, we How might can I move we, the crowd. <laughs> We we might man we might. Uh, you I mean, you got to be like Chuck D and Puff Evans. I'm gonna you know, set them up, set them down, set them yeah, out. Yeah man, salute yeah, to Chuck, Chuck D. Chuck, so, so, salute to the Chuck, general man. Chuck D man. Yeah. Um oh when when it's all said and done, you know that there's a lot of younger fans who they they might not. I, remember. I love the younger fans. I mean I see younger fans all the time. They show me a lot of love. They, they show me love when this happened. I really appreciate it. I'm glad they they still feel you know the oak tree. Present in this new new, new millennium, the younger people. I, 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 a lot of young respect. A lot of respect to the younger generation. To to the ones who never saw you play. Yes. Uh, what what do you want your, I, your I, legacy to be with them? Who who do you want well, them to know? Well, I see a lot of the were. kids be with their dads, and my dad told me about you. Hey, that's important to me. You know, because I know when I went out there on the court, I played with my heart and soul. It went about just scoring points. It was just fun. I was just trying to do whatever that moment, whatever that game calls for the win. And, you know, you don't find too many guys who are willing to do whatever it takes. No, no doubt, man. No doubt. Um, lastly, oh, you know, you, you're doing some some really good deeds out there in the community. Can you talk a little bit about what, what you're doing um, in, in the Feeding the Hunger Tour with, with Robin Hood? Yes, um, Play Robin Hood is a sponsor of, uh, it's, a, it's a site coming, just went live in Brazil and we come to the United States. But anyway, I've been doing this feeding for years and they sponsored me and um, we went on a four city tour. We fed 3,300 people in like 10 days. And my goal is to feed 10,000 when we end up in Skid Row in June the 20, 
twenty something, and we hope that be being fed ten thousand people. So I just try to just you know get back and be positive in a way, and try to help people who are trying to help themselves and you know don't have a chance, and just give them a hot meal or something, the words of advice about life, and have other people around talking to them in a positive way. You never know who you can reach, and I know that. We meet a lot of people because they've been giving a lot of feedback and I appreciate it. And we're going to continue doing this as long as I can get up and get in the kitchen and do my thing. That's what's up, man. That, yes. That's definitely a good deed and, and uh, we definitely need more like it. Uh, when it's all said and done, Oak, despite whatever, you know, despite the relationship or no not relationship with Don, do you still bleed orange and blue? Will you still be supporting this team on the rebuild on the path back to greatness. Do you still don't say we, they don't want you to say rebuild. They was just say they, they, they just rebuild, going through hard time, huh? It's, it's definitely a rebuild. They, they don't like that, the, the, the vocabulary rebuild. <laughs> they always say they stay away from rebuild. But I mean, it's, I mean, just say. I don't think you know. They say when teams, you know, trying to get things. I mean, it's a lot of teams looking for that. That's that that player can get them out of. All is one player. I mean, yeah. maybe two now because this, you know, talent is getting lower. But when LeBron was a free agent, LeBron, wherever he go, you know, ain't but like three or four changer. guys like that. Yeah. So the thing about few. it's about fifteen bad teams, and you got maybe four guys in the league can come to a team and make a difference. Uh, maybe yeah. So maybe so. I mean, the draft. You, you got to. You got when you draft somebody, you got to develop. You yeah. got to develop. Look at um, Memphis doing. Um, even uh, OKC, and I know they got Chris Paul as a veteran point guard, but these teams keep their head above water. Uh, it's some guys that can play within themselves, but can they play with other guys? That's the key now. Can guys play and make guys better? Or just can play, you know, get their 30 points and just hope that, you know, you come out and just win some games and make the playoff. But to win, you know, consistency, you're going to have some good structure, a strong mind coach. Not a yes coach, but it's t- it's a it's a tough time for a team. It ain't tough for the NBA; they making money. It's just yeah. tough time for teams who want to be winning to get the right chemistry and players, and hope that you can keep them together. Because a lot of guys, you know, want to leave and go play with this guy. Want to leave, go play with that guy. Yeah. Never heard that. Before. You know, that's just a different. Th- it's a different time in basketball. And fans, you know, you can love this team, love that team. You know, you, you're going to have some team got three, like three or four teams, going to have guys playing for three or four teams in their career, superstars, and that's how it is now. It's no, like, long jab in, in, with one team. Yeah, it's hard, hard to build. Hard to build a yeah. consistent team in, in this day and age. You're definitely right. Huh? I said it's hard to build a consistent a, a consistent winner. Well, uh, you can, it's hard to build around. because you can't be signing six, seven free agents every year and think you're going to build a team. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and then and, and if if you do that, you better have a star like LeBron or KD. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm gonna put the Greek freak go to the MVP. A um, few other guys, but yeah, when you ain't got that and you bring six guys in, it's just tough. Mm-hmm. Tough, you know, ain't but one basketball. Everybody got you know one year contracts, and it's it gonna be a selfish situation. You know, don't take a rocket to see that. It's your true story, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, Oak, man, I, I don't know if we're going to see you back at MSG anytime soon, man. But hopefully one of these days, you know, the, the, the fences get mended and, and we see How, how old are you? Me? I'll tell you to see me there or not. <laughs> 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 hopefully be before we hit the upper room, man. Hopefully yeah. before we hopefully before we hit the upper room, man. Please. Uh, well, I'm, up. I'm I'm close to sixties. I ain't got so many years left. Yeah, you got you got time, Oak man. Don't worry about man. You got time. You got time, man. They they still got Walt Frazier there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all got yeah. Allen Houston. You, you see Larry Johnson. They yeah. see Corsair. Yeah, but we we seen them. We seen them enough. Already, yeah, we seen them a lot. We see them all the time. Man. Yeah, I know. You know, we see them all the time. Just don't yeah. go to too many Nets games, Oak. Like, come on, man. That that's. Huh? That, I said, just don't go to too many Nets games, man. You heard, I, mean, you I heard go. Hard, I, come on, you man. Heard no hard, I go man. where I can sit and watch the game on, without man. people jumping on me. And, 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 and if they do put you on the jumbo charm, make make sure they put Knicks great 
Charles, yeah, they, you know, they, they, they got to respect us, the man. brand, man. They got to respect the orange and blue, man. They, they trying to steal your way. I don't tell people what to do, but I have no no say so. <laughs> right, no, no doubt, man. I thought I would have some say so in the garden, but I guess I don't know. Man, we working uh, on that. We work, we work on it, man. Yeah. We, we work on it, man. I'm, I'm gonna call MJ right, after this. On it, man. Hey, you know, and, hey, we'll get it going. things can always. Be, hey, they said it's a lot of ways to skin a cat. Just to make sure you just pull the right leg. Hey. We'll see how it plays out, man. But oh, we we definitely appreciate yeah, the time. Hopefully, it's not man, the my time. Last my time, time is your time. That's any time. Appreciate I, it, man. I'm 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 always open. I'm like Seven <laughs> Eleven. I don't right, close. No, no doubt. Oh, appreciate the time, man. Take oh, care, man. man. All right, guys. All right, man. Take All it right, easy. Man. All right, that was yeah, um that was Charles Oakley. <laughs> Interesting topic, sales. Interesting talk. Yeah. yeah give, give me uh, uh We're going to take some calls from the fans. 657-383-1509. Call us up. Let us know what you what you thought about it. And, uh, yeah, man, JLs, what, what, what was your immediate reaction Dog. to uh, the interview? Yo, I, I, I wanted to get in there, but it was just like a ping pong match going between you and Oak. Like, my bad, man. <laughs> Listen, man, it was like Matt. I was like, yo, I didn't want to just be screaming on the mic, but yo, it obviously Oak is is still kind of hurt, yeah, from everything that's going on. He's still carrying that, and when you have somebody who's that hurt, and you have a guy in Dolan who just seems like he doesn't care, it, it just, I didn't get like it's, it wasn't very optimistic. I'll say that, like you you, you get the sense that it's going to take a lot to get Oak back in the garden, a, a, a change of the garden. It's probably the only way to happen. And it seems like he's trying to go on this campaign to get, you know, to get him out, to get Dolan out, but it just doesn't, it's not gonna happen. It's not It's not gonna happen. It took extenuating certain circumstances for that to happen for the Clippers. Dolan just hasn't done enough. You know what I mean? He, he, he's been a jerk, but he hasn't been illegal. <laughs> he hasn't been a legal jerk. So Facts. it's it's gonna it's, it's an uphill battle, man. It's an uphill battle. I don't know if I ever I don't know if I ever see that. I don't know unless Dolan leaves somehow. Which he, yeah, I mean unless they got unless him and Spike got some sort of covert operation that they working with here, it's just yeah. not gonna happen, man. I I don't I don't see I don't see any anything uh, moving, man. I, I thought we were getting closer to a resolution, yeah. you know. Um, I don't see I don't I don't see anything happening here. Yeah, that was the big thing because I was hearing rumblings about how they was working on it since the summer. Yeah. And he was just like, he just kind of blew that off like that never happened. I was like, well, damn. Yeah. <laughs> like, she, I guess that's not happening. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't Maybe know, man. We got to wait for Dolan's son to take over. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that might be a long while. So to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for your boys. We're going to get to some calls right now. I believe the game's at halftime, right, Jails? We got Knicks and Hawks. Yeah, Knicks and Hawks. I think the Knicks are up at this point. Okay. Oh, I'm not checked. All right, cool. Let, let's hear from some fans. Let's, let's get some fan reactions. Dave is in the uh, switchboard screening some callers. We'll take some calls and then uh, and then get back to Knicks post game live. Back to a regularly scheduled program in Jails. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't, I don't see the move, the needle moving at all, man. Yeah, man, it's just, it seems like it's, it's just far too deep. Like he didn't even really want to give difficult. Like when I asked him when that happened, because he told the story about how Dolan, he he sh- took his hand out to shake Dolan's hand, yeah, and Dolan didn't respond. I asked him when that happened. He didn't want to give me a timeline. Yeah, to me, that kind of signifies that it probably happened a long time ago, and he just, he's still holding out, to, holding on to that, which is you know. His right to, because somebody that to me, I kind of look at them sideways mm-hmm. anyway. But it's just like, it just seems like it's, hey, hold up. it's, it's so deep. You know what I mean? It's so yeah. deep. I don't know if that's, I don't know if we can get dig out of that hole to get to an actual resolution. Q, Q, give us some thoughts, man. Oh, what's good, fellas? I was just talking to Dave. Yeah, what's good? How you feeling? Yeah, I was just talking to Dave and then it patched me through. Yeah, well, right away, man. This is the express yeah. line, man. This is the express line. Man. All right, I like that, man. I'm, I'm feeling that. But um, yo, that was that was the dopest show, fellas. Cause you know, Oak Oak's my guy, man. I yeah, I was riding for him, and then when it started, I was like, yo, hold up. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. hold up. 
It's getting a little tense. Nah, nah. He tried and to then, test us. Listen, know, I, I, I've, watched, I've watched Oakley <laughs> interviews. Uh, uh, I told you, JL. I did yeah, tell you. Beforehand, beforehand. I told JL beforehand. I was yeah. like, yo, he's going to try to turn up. Like, up. Yeah. yeah, I told you he's going to try to turn up. Like, it's, Nah, it's all good, man. That's hilarious because I totally forgot about the game. I was like, <laughs> hell with this. <laughs> yeah, what's the score of the game right now, man? That's I definitely want to catch a good portion of it so we can get back for post game. Oh, it's, um, hold up. Man, that crap was hilarious. Yeah. Man, greatest, the greatest interview I've ever seen because, to be honest, you don't find your idols on the phone like nothing. Yeah. I never thought yeah. about this when I was a kid. It's true. You know never what it thought is? that. It's you true, know, man. so. Go ahead, Jails. That's the question, too, man, because we've seen, we seen Oakley, we've seen Oakley go on other platforms, but I don't think, the real fan questions has been asked like nah. today. Like these are the questions nah. that real fans wanted to know, and we never had the opportunity to really ask them. But I'm, I'm I'm glad that we got this interview and we got to at least asking those questions, True. whether you kind of answered them or danced around them or not. At least we got to ask hey, the questions. We we got we got some. Yeah. My, Michael Ray, how you feeling? And Q, call back for post game. I just want to run through as many as we can before we cut it. Uh, Michael Ray, go ahead. First of all, y'all bang that out, man. That was that was that was quality work, fellas. Appreciate. Quality I hope work. you hit that thumbs up button for your boy. Come on, man. You know I always do. Thumbs up, <laughs> super chat. You know I rock with y'all. Appreciate I rock it. with y'all hard. Appreciate it. And, and we and we getting up in Vegas for summer league, right? See oh yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Vegas is popping. So Vegas summer yeah. league is definitely going down. Uh, once we get the schedules, uh, if we if we can even go, um, we'll we'll uh, we'll announce that later on this summer for sure. I'm looking forward to it. But listen, if there's one thing that I got from that whole interview, dude is bitter yeah. as hell. First mm. of all, you, now you throwing people, you throwing people dirty laundry out there. Isaiah's a snake, which we kind of already heard. And yeah, knew. that was pretty funny. Nobody I, I thought that was funny. Charles. Yeah. Charles, Charles is basically a punk. Remember, he did slap him in the face at the union meeting from, like, what, 92, 93, yeah. before the lockout season? Mm-hmm. If I remember that story. Yo, I was just sad to hear that dude and what he holds in many of us who remember those Knicks squads, what we remember him to be, to get on here and sound half bitter, half yeah. drunk. It's tough. I was just totally disappointed. I was it's disappointed. Tough. Yeah. Yeah, so it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate, JLS. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it's it's the human element, man. It's the human you element. Know. Like, like you, we see these guys, we idolize these guys growing up, but you know they're real people and they have real relationships. Like, you don't really <laughs> like yeah. real in the real world. It's fifteen people on a team. Probably uh, four of them ain't gonna like each other. That's just this is facts. <laughs> How about the issue with Ewing, man? We never knew that. I never knew that. Did you know that? I never knew I that. I didn't know it, but it makes sense because, like, he did kind of go out on a limb for you, and when he didn't get the job, when he didn't get the coaching job, he 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 spoke out. He he yeah. was like he said, um, what the Knicks offered him a G League job, a D League job at the time, and he 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 kind of hearkened that to being in kindergarten. Yeah. So yeah. then once he's once he goes back for you, and and then he's gets kicked out the garden, and Hewan doesn't say anything. I mean. I see, I see why he would feel some type of way, but I mean, I also uh, understand people. I also understand people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, not everybody, not everybody. I met this. There's certain people I met in the world, man. They like to defend everybody, and that's who they are yeah. into the heart. Mm-hmm. Oakley is one of those people who loves to defend everybody. What Oakley sometimes doesn't realize, He's though, a He's a teammate, man. Is that that's built in him? Everybody is not built like that and he's taking it personal that everyone's not built like that what yeah but what what, what, what he's saying special. like i yeah. hear what he's saying though jails yeah. and and don't get me wrong i think listen there's three sides to every story i'm not i i don't believe that he's just sitting there and, and dolan pointed him out and sick the goons on him i don't believe that for one second um i think he was antagonizing him and shit happened and i think the the reaction by security and the reaction by oakley is what got things out of hand you know what I'm saying? I think the two sides escalated to a point where the whole thing erupted. You know what I mean? But I think, you know, listen, this is a guy, you go to practice with these guys, you battling with these guys for 10 years, Jails. 10 years. Yeah. 
have their backs. You're on the road battling through all the ups and downs, all the controversy, all the wins and the losses. And it didn't really, I didn't really realize it until he went on Jalen and Jacoby and said that you and never said anything about it. I didn't realize it. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. None of, yeah. not Starks, not, not LJ, not Charles Smith, who's there right now. Nobody said anything except for Chris Childs, bro. And, yeah. and like Oak said, he was only with Chris Childs for a couple of years. That's mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Whether he's right or he's wrong fully, that's kind of crazy, bro. That's it. Some people are built for that, CP. You that, know that's kind of crazy. I, I know people. I knew people. I grew up people like that who defend everybody and they look around and like, where's the person who's supposed to defend me? And they get hurt. I've seen that story so many times over and over yeah. again. And they kind of lash out. And that's kind of what's happening right now, man. It's, it's, it's kind of what's happening right now. Crazy. And, and the security thing, I don't... I. I don't believe that security wasn't kind of following Oakley. I do believe security was kind of following Oakley from the jump and was following him beforehand. Because I, I actually did like a show about Oakley in, in the street before. Mm-hmm. And he was in, before that moment happened in the garden where he, where he got kicked out, he was followed by security to the bathroom. Mm. And I believe that Dolan is nervous. <laughs> I, I, I yeah, believe sure. Dolan was nervous just because 100%. Oakley was in the building. And that's why security was beefed up. Yeah, 100%, and they probably 100%. overreacted, and that's what happened. They definitely, like I said, I think both sides overreacted, and that's why you saw what you saw. You know what I mean? No doubt about it. But to Oak to sit here and be like, I didn't do nothing but say make your free throws. Like, come on, bro. I don't, I don't believe that for a second. You, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't believe that for a second. Uh, Lambo, how you feeling, man? Yo, what's good, fellas? Uh, what's good, bro? How you feeling right now? Um, I'm good. I, I'm a, I just want to speak some realism on the situation real mm-hmm. quick. Mm-hmm. You got to realize when you got to pack your passion up and put some self-care on yourself. That's first and foremost, because I was listening to it. Um, and you got to take care of yourself. And that's to hope. I mean, it's a business, right? And something I do respect about the garden and um, Dolan, it's a business. And there's some form of order and structure that has to be had, right? And I'm not trying to really come sideways at Oak. If we're on the block kicking it, we can eye, eye and talk however. But these people come from different walks of life. Yep. If you if you get intoxicated, you don't read situations correctly. And yep. I feel like what you just said is pretty much what happened. Is like you can't just talk to anyone any kind of way. And I kind of respect that Dolan's like that. Like you're not just gonna tell me, especially because we got a relationship. If it's a fan, I feel like he should give them more leeway. And when it's a a, a player, you get to a certain age, you can't be out in the streets just acting any kind of yeah. way. You know what I mean? And I agree that he played hard, but you got to realize when the passion needs to has to have some type of structure. And like, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I'm not saying he's wrong, but he's digging himself in a hole. You're still talking about the man and it's his team. Yeah. And that goes for all of us. Like no matter how we look at it, we fans of, of the squad. And I almost feel like for me, it's a privilege to be a Knicks fan. And I'm not a Knicks fan because of Dolan. But he owns it, so we we gotta play by his rules. Yeah, yeah. listen, and the you man the man owns like, his team, man. It's a private enterprise. That's what I was telling Oak. It's a private enterprise. If he want to throw a fan out for talking, you, get, uh, you throw the fan out. I might have done the same, JL. Something keep it a buck with you, bro. Man. See, that's the thing. I, I would keep it a buck with you, man. I might have done the same you. thing. Get out. I feel you. I feel you. I would. I, me personally, you know what it is. I don't know when you build. I feel like yo, Dolan got that shit hand. I'm sorry. Yeah. Dolan got that, <laughs> Dolan got that handed down to him, yo. So I, I feel like when you, when you, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Dolan has nothing to lose, and that's why he can act the way he acts, no matter what happens. Yeah. Madison Square Garden is in the middle of a, 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 a landmark utopia. Tourists are gonna go there no matter what. So there's no repercussions for him, um, acting irrationally. And that's just the truth. Yeah, hundred uh, hundred percent, bro. So, like, if 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 you're a small, if Dolan was running the Memphis Grizzlies, he could not get away with the stuff he's getting away with here. So it's a fair point. That that's mm-hmm. a fair point. So to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Let's run through some uh, super chat sales. We got a ton here. Michael Parker, appreciate the super chat. Expect a fight. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, four two times says Oakley's numbers should be retired. Uh, expect the fight says yes Oak salute to the OG we got Q sent us a super chat he said yo this is awesome this is the best show in the world you can't get your childhood items idols live and direct that's Crazy. what we did Jails yeah man that's what we did I told him this was the number one show for the fans by the fans this is why I say hit that thumbs up button for your boys 
Bruh, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, expect the fight says, I can tell you for a fact, CP ain't afraid to say anything, Oak. Yeah, that was when Oak was trying to charge us up in the beginning. He, he was trying to charge us up and ask us the questions. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Um... Uh, King J says dope content. Salute, salute to King J. We got Daryl Nelson that says, um, go Knicks. And we got Alan Berman who sent us a super chat as well. And he says, uh, not gonna lie, this interview kind of hurt my soul. He says, I feel for Oak Man, but Dolan looks better in my eyes after hearing this. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. What do you guys think in the chat? I got a poll up on the channel. Uh, if you hit the lowercase i icon in your chats, uh, there's a poll. Whose side are you on? Are you on Dolan's side? Are you on Oakley's side? Are you on no one's side? What do you think, man? Is there a side here? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so. We all lose, man. Uh, yo, JLs, they just said that um, the Utah Jazz and OKC Thunder game got postponed midway through the game, bro. Yo, this is going to be nuts, man. It's getting real. March it's Madness been has been no, no fans for March Madness. Yo, did you hear the news that uh, they might uh, postpone a bunch of games for the NBA? It's either going to be postponed or there's going to be no fans from like next week on out probably. Yo, I, yo the, the economic ramifications is crazy because how do you postpone and for how long? You got stadiums that are being used by other uh, entities, concerts, hockey, so on and so forth. You got the baseball season about to start up. How do you, you know what I mean? TV rights. Yo, it's, a lot, it's a lot at stake. But well, like I told you yesterday, bro, if when they started putting safety ahead of capitalism this early, it's a serious situation that we have on our hands. You think it's that serious? Dead serious. Dead serious. Know, Bro, you know how much money March Madness makes? All those stadiums? For them to say no fans at the stadiums? It's big, bro. Golden State Warriors just said no fans at their stadiums. Mm. It's big. If, like I said, for them to treat March Madness that way or this early, this thing is going to grow. I'm telling you. This thing is only going to grow and get worse. And, and that's what they're trying to get in, in front of. Because God forbid, you know, you got somebody, you know, sick that didn't quarantine themselves. And they're right. breathing all over, you know, some player's grandma who's 80 years old. And she catches yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, God forbid she passes away. That's a big time suit. I guess. Big time suit, bro. I guess better safe than sorry. Got it's to. Like, man. It, I guess it's like, man. Because you know what? It, I hear numbers about, you know, the flu being way more deadly than... The coronavirus, so I don't know how I, how I feel about it when I hear stuff like this. You know what I mean? it, 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 they're not doing this for the flu, man. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's, it's an overreaction or what. All I'm saying, everybody got to be safe, man. Oh, that's all I'm saying. I'm in the house. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Wash your hands, see. I'm in, I'm in the house, bro. Wash that, your hands. That, that's all I'm saying, man. That, that's all I'm saying. All right, um, let, let's take another call, and then we'll take a timeout until next post game. Let's go to um Greg from New Jersey. Greg, how you doing, man? Yo, what's up, fellas? How you feeling, hey, bro? What's up, man? Guys, man. Best, best, best thing on on, uh, on sports, man. I love you guys. Appreciate it, man. Here's, here's, my, here's my problem with, with Oakley, man. And, and truth be told, Oakley, Mason, and you and those guys are the reason why I fell in love with the Knicks back in the day. That, that's why I told Oak. He refused to believe it, Jay Ellis. I, really believe, yeah, I, didn't I say, yo, that. part of the reason why we still hear delusional waving the pom-poms for this 20 and 45 team <laughs> exactly. is based on that's what fact. you guys did in those 90s. Exactly. My pops took me to the Knicks games when you, when you were playing. <laughs> that's why I'm here right now with CP and YouTube Live. Like, Simple. I, I don't a, understand. Yeah. <laughs> Like this, this, this is a stop for us. Stop. That's why I always do it. I mean, Spike. Yeah, go ahead, man. Oakley's bitter, and he needs to knock it off, man, because he he has a personal vendetta with Dolan. Yeah, and he's dragging the public into it. He's don't on our name. He's talking to free agents, so he says, like, knock it off, man. If you have a problem with that man, go and go and squash that beef with that man himself. You know, don't don't go throw the mix thing and bring us into it and bring the public into it and go on any platform that you that will have you and talk bad about the Knicks. Like that's not that's not right. You know what I mean? So it's just like he needs to knock it off, man. He, he's just better and, and he's better than that. He's Oak. He's Oakley, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I was disappointed to hear some of the things I heard. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Uh, I appreciate appreciate the call. I, I was disappointed to hear about it, man. I'm 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 not surprised though. Yeah, I was disappointed, but I'm not surprised because that's kind of how he's a role. He's he's always kind of rolled like this. Dis- disappointed, man. 
the disappointment. Yeah. Um, let's let's take another one. Evan from New York, what's going on, man? What's going on, guys? Yo, what's um, good, bro? Hey, how, how, how you feel about a couple it? Things. Oh man, there's a couple of things I want to be able to get to. First, JLS, I felt bad for you. It was on your face, man. It was it was on your face. You really wanted to say something. It was just it just wasn't happening for you, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo you try to get in there. I just was just like. Out. Sometimes you gotta know when to fall back, son. Sometimes I was like, "Yo, CP." I was like, "If I get in this combo, I gotta come in from a different angle." <laughs> yo, Jalen, my fault, Jalen. Like, you know, nah, I, you know, I, I try to nah, keep nah, it equitable it. on this show. You know, I, I try to keep the air time equitable. No, 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 man. no. You had to do what you had to do. I get it, CP. <laughs> so sometimes it's double dutch. You gotta, you gotta find, you gotta find your lane and then play that lane sometimes. <laughs> yeah, facts. I was gonna use that analogy. It looked like you were trying to find a way to get in, and that telephone call was coming at you a little too fast, bro. I understand, <laughs> man. It, it just, it just didn't look good for you out there. But uh, <laughs> to get back on the topic, though, there's a couple of things here, and you know, I think we, you kind of hit a lot of this stuff on the head in terms of a lot of us growing up watching them. You know, some of us had those starting lineup, Nick's doll, action figures, the slam ups. And you Hell sit yeah. there, you see Oak, and you knew that was like the heart and soul type of move. And then you fast forward a little bit, and you see how age and old times and bad times work, work with you. And you can see how these things kind of pre- progress themselves into different things. Now, you have a lot of people, I think Levitard's interviewed the dude, and they've, he kind of has the same process about these types of things. Like, you can see where Oak has this press training, because he had a lot of non-committal answers that were out yeah. there. Yeah. But then when he was ready to spit fire, he spat fire. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. To me, that's not so much the fact that you go out there and take everything that he says is, is gospel. Because I think we all could not sit there and take a look at the situation and deduce that some things he was just being, you know, a little funny about. Mm-hmm. There's some things we felt a little bad, but he couldn't say millennium. There's some things that we felt like, okay, the dude was on a little bit too much of the, um, you know, the bottle a little bit or maybe something else enjoying his night a little bit too much. But, you know, no. it just got to a point where you look at this and you're like, okay, you're disappointed in people because you had a, better, a bigger feel for them even yeah. though you didn't get a chance to meet them in person you held them at a higher regard and that's kind of the thing that ends up taking a hit for oak in this situation for all the crap that dolan does he doesn't talk in the public all that much mm-hmm. so he lets you go out there and make that opinion about him and then these things happen and oak still takes more of a reputational hit because he looks pretty bad in, in compa- by comparison here now yeah you have a situation cp as you spoke about it before as a uh a leader of a business or something to that degree. Mm-hmm. And you actually have that situation where, you know, it's a private entity. You could throw anybody else out. You, it's on the ticket. You could really throw somebody else for almost anything. Mm-hmm. At the same time, there's a PR move that, that's there. Too. For sure. For sure. The Knicks fans have shown that they're fans. For sure. And they'll, they'll be fans for the orange and blue for everything. Now, Spike situation threw me because I knew exactly what type of entrance he was talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Spike's situation threw me for a loop, but in terms of the stuff with Oak, it just seems worse and worse, and it just doesn't seem like it ever is going to get any better. Nah, there there, yeah. is, there is no resolution to this. I don't I don't one, see it ever. That one is gone, man. Yeah. yeah, man. I, I don't see it ever happening, man. Yeah, we appreciate the gone, call. Though. But uh, you, you, you got something else? Well, let me know when you go out there and talk to. Yeah, let me know when you talk to to MJ and Steve Stout <laughs> yeah. and all those other <laughs> family got you. Appreciate it. You let me know one way or the other when that happens. I'm there. We will be live you know streaming right now, the live summit. Streaming we will be we will be live streaming the summit. Jay Ellis, you heard it. He invited me, you, MJ, Adam Silver, uh, 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 Steve Stout, and yeah. Oak and Dolan at the table. That sounds fair, bro. That, that, that does sound fair. That's, that sounds fair. You know what I'm saying? Why is MJ there? I'm not sure. Well, cool. they're friends. You know, we, we need to hear from his airness. You know, he is the GOAT after all. So that may move the needle a little, little bit. You know what all I'm right, saying? All right, security blanket. I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now that we heard the sirens, yeah, let's, let's take a time out. Salute yeah. to everybody that was watching, sticking with us. Leave your comments. If you want to continue commenting, leave your comments on this video. To everybody on the phones, we will be back after the Knicks versus Hawks game. We'll get more of your calls. We're going to get all the calls in. So just call back after the game. We're going to get all your calls in. So to uh, Steve, Esto, uh, Moses, John, make sure you guys call back after the game. We're going to get back to you guys and, and more of your phone calls. Remember that this show is available in audio podcast format. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Alexa, and Stitcher. So all you truck drivers, all the Uber drivers, uh, all the taxi drivers, salute to you guys on the road. Be careful out there. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy this show as a listen. Um, Jay Ellis, man. See you in a little bit, bro. Yeah, man. We out of here. Peace.